Greetings viewers, Adventure Link here. Back again with another electronical device that MPAL was nice enough to give me to review. Yay! Before I go any farther, you know, if it's your birthday or was your birthday or you will have your birthday soon, congratulations and happy birthday. Get out there and make it a good one. In any case, we still got Good Friday and Easter coming up, so hope your Easter and Good Friday season was a good one, or will be a good one. So anyways, today we have the Aqua Pro wireless speaker. It is IPX7 waterproof. Uh, model number is MBS9. Let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. You know the drill. Unboxing, setup, demonstration, and review. Okay, so when I got mine, it was in this bag. So I'm going to start by unbagging it. Then the next thing you want to do is uh, cut off this label right here. Open it up. And we're opening it up like that. Okay, so we got the user manual. All the other accessories. Um, basically a... Um, oh, I'll open this bag a little later off camera. But in any case, we do have our grand prize here. Our little speaker. Yay! See? There it is. It even has a little um, dangle cord that you can hang off your hand like this or hang off your belt or something. And I figured that's what the little bag had, but I had to open it off camera just to be sure. That way I wouldn't make a fool of myself. But then again, that is what Barnacle's Nerdgasm would say about unscripted YouTube videos. I make up unscripted so you don't make the same mistakes I do. But in any case, double mail into cable and a uh, micro USB charging cord. Nice. That's it for the unboxing of the Impel Aqua Pro wireless speaker. Let's um, go through the setup and um, nice um, small instruction manual here. See, there's the front. There's the back. That's all there is to it, but we're still going to go over this verbatim anyway. Um, we already took care of the access accessories part out of the way, so um, let's go into the specifications. Bluetooth version is 2.1. Frequency range is uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, Bluetooth mode is A2DP, AVRCP, HFP, and HSP. Bluetooth range of about 10 meters. Battery capacity is 800 milliamp hours. Playtime of 6 to 8 hours. Waterproof level is IPX7, like I said. Size, length is uh, 80 millimeters. Width is also 80 millimeters. Height is 35 millimeters. Weight of 182 grams. Uh, for us American people that use... Uh, Pounds and inches and all that. Make it that as you will. <laughs> Product diagram. The circle button is your power on and off button. The minus button is a volume down and previous track. Plus button is volume up and next track. Play and pause button. Um, you know, it's the little triangle with the two parallel lines next to it. Uh, somewhere in the speaker, you got an indicator light. Got a nifty little SOS button. Um, and on the side door, you got the line in and the USB charge port. Uh, charging the speakers. You must charge the speaker fully before using it for the first time. That's uh, pretty self-explanatory. You plug the USB cord into your charge block or your PC, then plug the other end into the speaker, let it charge for about two to three hours. A low voltage alert for the battery, low alert tone sounds. It'll about sound about every 60 seconds. Indicate that the battery has ran out. Please charge your speaker as soon as possible. Power on. Long press the circle button for about two seconds until the blue indicator light turns on when an indication tone. Power off is long press the circle button for about three seconds until the blue indicator light turns off with the indication tone. Pairing your device. You'll long press the circle button for about two seconds until the blue indicator light turns on with an indication tone. Then long press the play button for about two seconds with an indication tone. Turn on the Bluetooth function on your device. Search for the Bluetooth devices and select MPAL Aqua Pro with an indication tone. Enter the code 0000 as necessary. If the pairing is successful, the blue indicator turns on. Uh, automatic connect. It connects to the last connected device automatically when it turns on. Please make sure the Bluetooth function is on before you turn on the speaker. Playing the music, you'll play and pause. You'll short press the tri right triangle. Uh, next song, long press the, the plus button. Previous song, long press the minus. Volume up, short press the plus. Volume down, short press the minus. Answering and ending a call, you'll press the 
the play button to answer an incoming call and press again to end the call. Long press the play button to reject an in incoming call. SOS button. You'll long press the SOS button for two seconds to activate the SOS function. Long press SOS for two seconds to shut it down. That's it for the instructions. Um, let's get this set up. Okay, so now it's time to get the speaker set up. Uh, remember, we'll press this circle button. The button on the left here where my middle finger is, you'll press it for about two seconds until the light comes on and you get a tone. Then you press the play button over here. Long press it for about three seconds until it goes into pairing mode. Now you'll uh, search for your devices. There, there's our Impel Aqua Pro. Press it. Pairing, pairing, pairing. And we have speaker. You got speaker. Awesome. Okay, so with that being said, now that we got everything all um, synced up and all that, now it's time to go on to the demonstration part. Uh, keep in mind that... With demonstrations, you know, I'm only I'm only allowed so much to do on YouTube because they're finicky about certain things. You know, like if I was to put my own, my own voice clips on here, great. If I'm gonna put clips of my YouTube videos on this video, awesome. If I make my own music tracks, you know, that's fine too. But if I've got, you know, other kinds of music, you know, the stuff that actually makes it on the radio, as well as TV shows, music, movies, and yes, even Nintendo games, no, I'm not making that up either. Even those can actually make YouTube all finicky and you will get reprimanded for it. You know, you get a content ID violation or you'll get your audio track all muted up or you'll ultimately end up getting the dreaded yet infamous copyright strike, which those are no good. Demonstration starts now. Okay, so let's actually go play with our SOS button. Remember, you'll long push it for two seconds to turn it on. Short and long press it for two seconds to turn it back off. Remember, it's by your auxiliary slash USB door, which is right over here. Your SOS button is right there where my finger is. So let's go try it out. <coughs> sounds like a police siren, doesn't it? So you're probably wondering what all those sounds this thing can make. Well... If you push this but the volume plus or minus button too many times and it goes to the max, either the lowest it goes or the highest it goes, well, it sounds a bit like this. Kind of sounds like the busy signal on a phone, doesn't it? Now, I'm going to push this, mo this uh, volume down button. Let's see how long it takes before I get the busy signal again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, and right on the 15th press, it gave me the busy signal. So you can pretty much push this like 14 times, and then 15, it gives you the busy signal. Alrighty, so we got a, a voice clip here all ready to go. So let's give this a go and just see how it sounds. Greetings, viewers of Venture Link here. Got a voice clip for you to test out while we test our, our sound devices out here. So, let's get started. What's up? We are farmers. Bum, da, 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 bum, bum, bum. A. Okay, so before we uh, get on to the water test, um, I just want to let you all know what the IPX7 means. Uh, what this means is an IP code with an X in place of the first or second number means that a device hasn't been tested to protect it against the entry of solid objects, the first number, or moisture, which is the second number. For example, a device with the rating of IPX7, which is what this speaker here is, is protected from accidental submersion in one meter of water, or about three feet, for up to 30 minutes, but has not been tested against the entry of dust. So I've had the speaker in the water here for a few minutes under varying grades of uh, sunkenness, like what up here, it's floating now. This, I would have it uh, manually floating down like this. So with that being said, let's see if this thing still plays, plays music or sounds or something. Ready, go.
Greetings, viewers. Adventure Link here. Got a voice clip for you to test out while we test our, our sound devices out here. So, let's get started. What? Uh, we are farmers. Something at the bum bum bum. A. As you can see, or hear, or whatever, other than the little stutter with the A. Still play pretty decently, I might add. And just as a fair warning, make sure you do have this door for the USB and um, auxiliary ports closed tightly. Because if you don't have it closed tightly, water's going to get inside and it's going to ruin your device. Okay, so we got some uh, post aftermath of the dunking here. Um, I know it's been a little while since I came back to this, so let's at least try it out. Well, it's charging, but it won't turn on anymore. Should be able to turn on even though it's charging. Well, unfortunately, it's pretty much dead now. It was working like a little bit, but at random. Like, for example, this Bluetooth, you're supposed to turn it on and then hit the play button over here to um, sync your Bluetooth. It wouldn't sync Bluetooth. Um, the only thing that would work was a three and a half millimeter jack. And even still, that was a little staticky, dodgy. Also had the, um, the SOS alarm turn itself on and off. So keep that in mind when you do your little dunk test and all that. Is that just because it says up to three feet, you know, doesn't necessarily mean it could do that. Granted, I think this was more like if you're going to go and take this for a swim, not necessarily like deep diving or anything. But if you're going to like go into the water and go take a swim, then that's what the IPX7 would be more meant for. Oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention is that the speaker didn't want to turn off by normal means. Yeah, like when this thing was running, I want to try to turn it off. It wouldn't budge at all. It would still stay on. The only thing that would um, keep it going is just the battery. And when the battery's dead, it's turned off, you know, because it ran out of juice. Sometimes I managed to make it turn off, but most of the time it didn't. So in any case, that was it for the demonstration on the Empow Aqua Pro speaker. Let's go and uh, wrap this up with our review. Okay, so now comes the time in the video where we got to give our review on the product before I forget and before I go any farther. As always, I want to give a special thanks and shout out to Amy Lee and the Impal team for sending me this and other such product samples for, in exchange for my testing out an honest review. So with that being said, let's get started. Pros are that it's lightweight and easy to use. The price is right um, on Prime, on Amazon. It's about 30 bucks. This mostly still worked when this was submerged in the water. I'll give more to that in a moment, but keep in mind that the sound was somewhat muffled and it only goes up to three feet up to 30 minutes it's got decent sound quality and bass and it even makes super nintendo music sound that much more awesome probably anything you throw into this speaker it'll make it sound awesome i don't have to play with the volume controls on this thing as much like it was on the bluetooth transmitter thing if you may remember that where i kept having to play with these little volume buttons this i just turn it all the way up and then i can just turn it up and then i can just turn the volume up and down on my device as i go it has a um, carry strap. See? Cute little carry strap just like this. It's got a th multiple inputs. Um, you got your uh, double melanin cable. You've got three and a, you can use a three and a half millimeter to RCA to output to your stereo. You can also use Bluetooth. You got plenty of options here. Um, it's got decent battery life, decent charge time, and the SOS button down here it's actually pretty useful. Like if you're um, in trouble and you got to push the SOS button, um, alert someone to your assistance or your aid rather, that's what it's there for. The cons on this are that it has an unknown dust resistance, which is the X and the IPX7, 
Meaning, once again, that IPX7 is that with the X part where the run number should be, there was an unknown dust, dust, dirt, sand test resistance. So try that at your own risk. It could crap out, you know, the second it's exposed. It could last all day. Could last forever. Who knows? And the 7, of course, means that it's uh, waterproof. Remember, it's uh, up to 1 meter or 3 feet, up to 30 minutes. Um, as you saw before I did the review, even with it on charge, I couldn't turn it on anymore, and this was well, and this was so, well some time after the dunk test. Additionally, I did get other oddities, like I said before. My guess, and other, and a couple other people's guesses, is that they was also having similar problems as me. It may have been the um, like the seals they were using that day may have not held up, or it may have been. Um, a cheaper seal that day so you know kick take that for what it is other than that i would definitely give this at least four and a half stars um just gotta up improve the seal or the seals rather on this and this would really be an awesome product additionally if this had a digital output you know you could out increase your uh, compatibility that much more i would still recommend this to a friend i found that other than the um water resistance and that it died in the water anyway I still found this was an awesome speaker. I might actually go get another one to replace this. But like I said, keep in mind the IPX7 rating and um, try not to go like too extreme with your dump tests. Uh, so with that being said, that's it. This has been my demonstration, unboxing, and review of the Impal Aqua Pro wireless speaker. I am Adventure Link. Thank you for watching. Once again, special thanks and shout out to Amy Lee and the Impal team for sending me this and other such samples in exchange for a fair and honest review, as well as for demonstration purposes like in these videos. Hopefully you all get pumped up and excited for your own little speaker like this. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. It's in the video description. If you got any questions, comments, well wishes, prayers, etc., but no flames, fighting, spam baiting, or other such blood hurt comments, please hit me up in the comment section. I do my best to respond to all your comments. Um, if you want to get cool stuff from MPAL like me and do reviews, as long as you got a Facebook account, we do have our MPAL group on Facebook you can join up at. I'll put a link in the video description. Starting to get chilly outside, warm, cold, whatever, Mother Nature. Is being kind of wonky, so I guess at least wear a light jacket that way. If nothing else, you can stay away from that ammonia. It's no fun to play with. Other than that, if it's cold enough, you know, have a bigger jacket on. Always eat right, stay active, stay hydrated, stay healthy. Stay away from those viruses and slow down for the inclement weather, please. And don't let others push you around. And I'm going to close off, as always, by quoting the wise words of wisdom from Eric the Car Guy, reminding everyone to be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. See you all next time.